Okay, so now we're nicely generating a more unique storage account name using our fancy looking variable expression. Um, but it'd be useful to have that output from the template deployment so we know what name has been created for our storage account. So you can do this within the output section. Um, so if you again move the cursor so it's between the two curly braces and then hit enter, then it'll drop down and indent. And then you can give a name for your output. So here I'm not going to be very inventive. Let's call it storage account. And then that again takes an object itself. So if I hit enter to drop down within that, then it has a couple of possible arguments. One is type and the other is value. So if I tab over from type, then again, it allows a number of different things. So this is the list of possible values. This is going to be a string for us. So I'll select that and tab it over. And then do comma to go down to the next line. And then value is our last remaining thing. So the value you want here is the variable storage account. So I'll do just that. So slash variables, and then do single quote, then storage account is automatically populated for us, and then do square bracket to close it off. So that's, again, another valid template. Check there's no problems using Control Shift M, um, and then I can save it. Um, now, if you find that for some reason your indentation has gone a bit messy, um, then one of the nice things you can use is the JSON tools, which has been provided as one of the extensions. So that was put in by Eric Lind. So we've got that installed. Um, and that enables you to do two things. One, you can do Alt and M together to minify everything, which can be very useful if you are doing program code and you want to shrink something down that way. Uh, or you can do Control Alt M and that'll prettify it. So I'll take it out and based on your spaces for your tabbing, it'll indent it and then put all the nice little lines and everything else. So everything is where it should be. That will only work if your JSON is syntactically good. Um, so you'll need to fix any syntax errors first before you can use those. But it's a great way of tidying up your templates if you've managed to get yourself into a little bit of an indentation mess.